We have a couple of historically significant New Jersey items. A star made in Smithville, New Jersey. This is the smallest star I've ever sold, to my knowledge. Original bike, very, very nice condition. Also, out of New Jersey, we found this. This is the famous Zimmerman, the first American world champion. Uh, Albert Augustus Zimmerman, uh, probably one of the most important American races of all time. This is a real sought-after uh, poster and in wonderful condition. We also have another one on the opposite wall. He rode for Raleigh. And it's a more common yet hard to find poster. Three, two. This is an English racing high wheel. We found this in Connecticut last year. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty unusual machine. Nice thin wheels, uh, not the proper seat. But yet it's a, a pretty desirable little ordinary racer. It's got a spider web uh, solder job here to keep the wheels from twisting, the spokes from twisting, I should say, from the torque of a strong racer. Um, another French poster here. This is a, a beautiful, beautiful poster. Very, very fine work. Uh, you know, it's funny, it's a small poster, but it's, it's just a really really nice French poster. Another little French poster right here. Very good condition. Out of the same collection. From the Howie Cohn collection in Colorado. This is kind of an iconic painting that Howie, I, I, must, I think he must have commissioned it. This is after a photograph of Marilyn Run Monroe, pardon me, uh, depicting Lillian Russell. And it was a, a photograph by Richard Avedon. Anyway, it's uh, kind of one of those gay 90 replicas and uh, modern painting, but pretty cool. How he had some t-shirts made up and uh, one of his favorite things out of his collection. Now this is a really special thing. This is a French bicycle that was made in Italy and it's a pretty rare 1927 model, from what I can see. It's got a monocoque chassis, which is really rare, with a leaf spring seat post. Um, just a terrific, terrific bicycle consigned from a European museum. I, I'm really anxious to see how this will do. Very cool bike. All right, this is a, uh, a pretty rare Iber Johnson. An arched frame model with a very unusual sprung suspension. There are springs right inside the down tubes in the back. And um, again, this is, I, this is the first one I have ever seen. I'm sure they're out there, but the uh, first one in Copake. Wonderful restoration too. We like to have something for everybody in the sale, and these are spectacular Sears Space Liners, a male and a female edition. And what, what's hard, you know, these are were common bikes, but it's really hard to find them with all the knobs, all the plastic in wonderful condition. Uh, I don't think you can find a better pair anywhere. These are beauties. This is a French bone shaker. It was consigned from a collector in Great Britain. And it's a Jean Ephron. We think it was made about 1869, and we have a lot of information on it. Uh, nice restoration, pretty rare machine. Uh, two adult tricycles in this sale. This one was Gary Woodward's. And this one came out of a Massachusetts collection. Pretty rare bike. And we've been getting all sort of information. Uh, we thought we knew exactly what it was. And it's turning out to probably be a singer. And people are uh, discussing that, whether it is or it isn't. But, you know, here at Copake, we let the experts figure out what it is. Our main, our main goal is to present them properly and sell them. So uh, we're very happy to have these bikes. These are wonderful examples.
Very nice example of a Schwinn B6. Beautiful paint detail. Really nice. The posters here are from Howie Cohen's collection. I thought I'd seen a lot of posters in the bicycle business, but Howie Cohen must have had, I think we got thousands from them. We're not selling them all this year. They're all over the place. Um, these are all reproduction posters of high quality. This poster is mounted on zinc, and this is a period French poster, probably around 1920. This came from a, a European collector, and it's a very rare bike. First one we've ever had, not the first one I've seen, but it's a bamboo bike, and all the gusseting is aluminum. Um, it needs a lot of restoration, but it's a hyper, hyper rare bike. Uh, first one we've ever presented. Uh, another rare bike, an old hickory, wooden frame, a wonderful example. This is an Elliott Hickory. Uh, this is the first date I've ever had with a single leaf spring rear suspension. Um, first for us, really unusual bike. We found these locally in a uh, storage unit in Dutchess County. A nice BMX collection. This guy loved this stuff. Uh, I hope we do well with these. Uh, all good condition, restorations, the guy was fastidious in his restorations, parts, wheels, lots of wheels. We have a nice collection of uh, six day and Tour de France photographs and they're all framed, nice condition, beautiful detail. We know who the photographer is on some of them. Uh, I think these two pictures were taken at the very last six-day race at Madison Square Garden. I consider this the best Buffalo Pierce chainless we've ever had. It has leaf spring suspension and a hygienic shock absorber in the back, chainless, really tastefully restored, beautiful wheels that match the pinstriping, uh, Pretty stunning example of a Pierce. I, again, I think it's the best Pierce we've ever had. Again, from the Woodward Collection, one of the most famous wheelmen of all time, a beautifully restored child's ordinary. This was consigned from a museum in Europe, one of the two museums that uh, gave us things this year. It's a crescent, absolutely, this would be a stunning tweed ride bike. Beautiful condition, beautiful layout on it, really executed well. It's a, it's a, it's a well laid out bike. Really nice chain card on it that says crescent. Uh, we have probably the most smalls, we call them smalls, that we've ever had in any of our auctions. Um, a particular interest in Ivor Johnson uh, temperature gauge, a thermometer. Uh, first one I've seen. Some really good metals. We have a, a high wheel tricycle, adult tricycle race metal from the first race ever held. Um, a very rare item. In the showcase, we classic Wheelman Stein. Here's the metal, uh, the first American tricycle race. We have over 200 lamps this year. We have the most lamps we've ever had. This is the first figural carbide lamp that I have ever had here. And it's uh, German. And it's got a uh, Germanic eagle holding the lamp up. Uh, pretty stunning. It's really highly polished. First for us. I haven't seen one of those before. Lots of lamps, candle lamps, carbide lamps, kerosene lamps, some in the original boxes. A lot of antique photography, pancake horns, those are good for motorcycles and bicycles. Up here is a collection of pin back buttons from the Howie Cohn collection. Uh, we do have a quite a 
quite a collection of them. The first lot in the sale is a hub, uh, hub lamp by Lucas. It's a nice one too. Tremendous amount of ephemera in this sale. These are all tobacco cards, bicycle related. This is a very nice cycle poco camera. A lot of catalogs in this sale. Um, we have an entire rack full of them here. And uh, they always do very well, especially with the people that really are interested in the history of all these things. We have a lot of new old stock parts, some of them in original boxes, and I think the balloon guys will love this stuff, um, a lot of it. Howie Cohn had everything that you could have in bicycling. This is cufflinks, tie tacks, jewelry, he had it all. Again from the Cohen collection, name license plates, probably from 1950, 60 in that era, but wonderful thing. This is our great wall of high wheels. <laughs> there are 10 high wheels here, everything from a Springfield Roadster all the way down to unrestored barn finds, so there'll be something for everybody. This is a very sophisticated Massachusetts machine. These two bikes, I was told, were the last two Raleigh's to come into the country. They've never been ridden. Um, they do have a little, what I would call, shelf wear. You know, they're not 100% perfect, but they're close. They're beautiful. We have two pierces. They're a cushion frame. Suspension front and rear, as found, all the parts, relatively all the parts are here. Um, great for restorations. These are a very high end pneumatic safety. This is the Raleigh sponsored Race Across America bike. We have the uniform, bicycle, shoes, helmet. It's um, quite in very good condition. This came out of the Pedaling History Museum in Buffalo. One of the last things, we have very little left from that collection. One of the great finds in this year's sale, I got a call uh, a few months ago and a young man said his grandfather collected Bowdens and uh, he sent me some pictures and we have a wall full of Bowdens including a Bowden that as far as I know nobody's seen one. Um, you never know about that, but this is extremely, extremely rare, probably a prototype. And uh, the guy who owned these, Mr. Valentine in Hollywood, California, corresponded with Bowden. We have all the correspondence. Uh, we have extra parts. Uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five of them. There's a Bowden reproduction up there, a uh, green one. And... Um, we're just really lucky to get these this year. Okay. We were really fortunate to get this Frank Lentz archive. Frank Lentz is called the Lost Cyclist. He went to uh, travel around the world and was lost in Turkey, murdered in Turkey, I guess. And um, these are photos and letters that he sent back they were found in uh, Palm Springs, California. And uh, this is quite a find. 
Uh, David Hurley, he wrote a book called The Lost Cyclist. He did a presentation here a while back. And um, there are letters from China describing the conditions and how hard it was to ride. And they go back to his friend in um, Pittsburgh, I believe it is. Uh, they were sponsoring him on his trip. But this is really a find. This is histor historically significant material. This is a lineup of classic bikes, early bikes, pneumatic safeties. Uh, there's some reproduction, re replica bikes in this, in this line. Early uh, 1930s bicycles, 40s, 50s, all over the place. We even have a modern sociable tandem here. Nice lightweight Schwinn Paramount, very collectible Paramount bike. You know, we have something for everybody here. Really nice NOS BMX frames and wheels. We have 28 inch tires for restorations. Nice pneumatic safety there. With J.C. Higgins Color Flow, nice uh, out of a small museum in New York State, and just lines of bicycles. Schwinn crate bikes. <clears throat> Here's an Iron Man bike. Tons of smalls. There are tiles over here uh, that are, have antique bicycles if you were doing your kitchen over or something. Uh, they're four inch by four inch tiles and they're all classic antique bikes. <clears throat> 